This video is brought to you by the PowerBase Mini, a smaller, more compact alternative to the original PowerBase converter. Visit the link in the description below for more information. Team Canada. Hey, what's going on guys? CJR here with another episode of the Sega Dream Quest. Um, up today we have four games to add to the collection. Um, this puts me, uh, with all the games that are coming in, just around 40 games to go. Uh, as always, I'll leave an updated list in the description below of the games I'm still looking for. If you have any of these games, uh, feel free to contact me through Facebook. Um, my Facebook link is also in the description. And uh, just send me, um, let me know what you have and uh, what you're looking for. So, um, again, thank you to everybody who's uh, contributed to this uh, Sega Dream Quest. Um, I, in the first video I mentioned I'm trying to complete my Sega Dreamcast collection in the year, within the year 2015. So, um, people have been very helpful sending me games for free, trades, and uh, giving me really good deals. So, up first is uh, a couple videos ago I opened a uh, package from Round 2 Gaming, uh, Dean from Round 2 Gaming. I won his uh, contest, 500 subscriber contest video. And uh, in that package, he included two Dreamcast games, which I've been holding until uh, for a Sega Dream, Dream Quest episode. So these are the two games. You can find D the link to uh, Dean's channel in the description below, Round 2 Gaming. As I mentioned in that unboxing video, he's got an amazing collection. If you like what you see behind you and you enjoy my videos, uh, go check out his. He's, uh, he, he does pretty much the same thing I do, but uh, he speaks much better than I do. And uh, his editing is much better than mine. So. If you like my channel, you'll definitely like his. So uh, that's round two gaming in the description below. Anyways, he was nice enough to donate these games uh, directly from his collection, I believe. I don't even think these were doubles. So he just kind of threw them in as a bonus. Uh, two very good games that I've, I've really been seeking. The first one is the King of Fighters Dream Match uh, 1999. And uh, 1999 was the year that the Dreamcast was released. Um... I'll never forget that I uh, was in line. Oh, one other thing to mention here: I was in line with my girlfriend and a buddy of mine at 12 o'clock at uh, EB Games in the mall, waiting for the system to be released. And I picked I picked up the system and about five different games, and uh, we went home right after and played it till about 5, 6 a.m. in the morning. I just noticed that this is one of the games that's compatible with the uh, Neo Geo Pocket through the link cable. It's, you can see it up by in the orange section there. I don't know how well it's going to come through. But uh, very cool that they had that partnership with the uh, Neo Geo Pocket. Uh, I'm not ex exactly sure what it does with this game, but uh, pretty cool. I've never seen that on a, another Dreamcast game. So that's uh, The King of Fighters, 1999. Thank you very much. And uh, MDK2, which I really don't remember this game much at all. I get this confused with... Uh, Shadow Man. I don't know why I get this confused with Shadow Man, but... Um, I don't know much about this game at all. It's a Bioware game. That's cool. The graphics look really good. Uh, looks like a third-person kind of shooter. But, uh, super happy to find that. Thank you very much, Dean. As I said, the link to Round 2 Gaming is in the description below. Two more games off the list. Even to get one game, guys, like, if... Uh, if I did this whole thing and somebody, you know, hooked me up with one game for a good price, I would have been happy. But the response has been really fantastic. Sounds like my son uh, has gotten a hold of the pots and pans upstairs. Okay. I gave them some Pez that should keep them quiet for about uh, 30 seconds. So, um, like I said, Trevor was nice enough to send me Bomberman online. Uh, not super hard to get, but by no means one of the more common games. Uh, I believe it goes for 20 ish dollars. So, uh, for him to send this to me free of charge, just a donation to the collection, um, thank you so much, Trevor. Uh, I haven't actually played Bomberman online on the, on the Dreamcast. I played the Saturn Bomberman. Um, so I'm hoping it's even half as good as that one. Uh, hopefully the online features, uh, hopefully it won't be nerfed without having the online. I believe you can still play one to four players. That's one thing I love about the Dreamcast is the uh, four player, um, four controller ports. So you can play uh, multiplayer games. It's a fantastic system for multiplayer games in general. 
So thank you very much for that. And then finally, we have a package from Robbie from uh, Facebook. Again, a Facebook friend. Um, yeah. And uh, Robbie was nice enough to send me again free of charge. Are we still recording? Yes. Uh, just told me to change the battery. You got probably 30 seconds. Robbie was nice enough to send me Prince of Persia, Arabian Nights, uh, a game that I've never played. Uh, it looks like kind of a cross between the original PC kind of uh, platforming view with the running and the jumping over the spikes and climbing walls and stuff like that, and kind of a cross between that and Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, which uh, the Prince of Persia games, that, that after they did that kind of reboot, um, were actually really fantastic. And this, like I said, looks kind of like a cross between graphics look half decent. Uh, can't wait to try this one out. And again, it's in absolutely fantastic condition. I've been really lucky with you guys sending me uh, games that are just in fantastic shape. I don't even need to replace the case on that, which is awesome. So uh, thank you very much, Robbie, for the uh, donation to the collection. Um, as I said, the, uh, the updated list, uh, the list in the description below is the, the up-to-date list of games that I still need. If you have any games that I need, feel free to contact me through Facebook. That's the easiest way. And... Um, Thank you again to everyone who's donated um, or helped me out by uh, sending me these games cheap for the collection. And um, yeah, as always, uh, you can find me on social media at CJR. I recently started a uh, Instagram account, so I post a lot of uh, gaming pictures on there. Feel free to check me out. Anyways, guys, until the next episode.